this is Paula Johnston with Auburn News 20. And uh, I'm out here today at the east end of the Auburn Airport runway. Uh, there are fire crews and news crews from the various uh, Sacramento TV stations. And uh, there's been a fatal crash at the east end of the Auburn uh, Airport. Uh, evidently two bodies are still within the wreckage and the crews are here to try to clear an area around the crash and I'm assuming to get the bodies out of the plane. Um, we'll bring you more as we, as we find it out. The only challenge that we're having right now is just getting the National Transportation Safety guy out here to give us the okay to cut into the plane and start to remove the people out of the plane. How long could that take? Could it be a long process throughout the day? Well, they've already given the okay. He's here on scene. He's out there investigating. The crews are out there starting to cut. I would imagine it probably will be an hour. So then the bodies will be out of the plane. Packaged up. I'm Paula Johnson with Auburn, Auburn News 20. So this is just a horrific event. And it's very rare, isn't it, that there's a crash out at Auburn Airport? Pretty rare, you know, you don't hear about it too often, but the accidents occur, accidents yeah. occur everywhere. Right, and do we know if it was anybody local that was in the plane? That's my only question. I do not know. I heard that the plane maybe originated from Susanville, but you never know if it came from Auburn to Susanville right. and back and forth, but yeah. I don't know any of those details. I, I can tell you is that we, I confirm that, can confirm there's one fatality, Apparently there's two. I myself didn't confirm the second. Yeah. It's entangled in the trees and brush. They're right now they are in the process of cutting into the plane and clearing the way to you know clear the brush and trees and all the non all the other stuff out of the area so that they can safely remove the people out of the planes without okay. getting hurt themselves. We got here this morning about 8:30 and now we're leaving. Cal Fire is gonna run the rest of the incident and then the city personnel have been released and are returning. Paula Johnston, Auburn News 20.